The start of proper recovery. Recovery take 5 million. Friday the 15th of March. Exactly one week before mum's birthday. And I am starting recovery all over again. No, not all over again. Yeah, I'm starting recovery. Again, this is like recovery take 5 million. And I know I say a lot of the time, it's Alicia and Tara and mom and dad and everyone say, oh, you always say that, this is it, this is gonna be it. But this is it now. This is the start of the rest of my life. I've been recovering, but I haven't been properly recovering. I've barely gained any weight since November. And I've been trying all of the, I've been trying new foods and fear foods, but I don't, I'm not eating enough. I know I'm not eating enough. And then I eat enough for a day or two. And then I get too scared and then I just, I let my mind affect me still. I'm still, abs I, I'm still really affected by calories. I, I don't know, I don't know why. It's so annoying, it's so mentally draining. And I just, I want to just let go of everything, just let go and just start again and try something new that I haven't tried and it's going to be so hard but it's going to be so worth it and I know I can do it and this will be the start of the rest of my life I've done well so far but I haven't done enough it doesn't matter that I've been stagnant for a while I just need to I need I'm fed up of staying where I am and I need to change in order to change. I need to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and do what scares me and do the opposite of my mind. And I think that the more I do it, the easier it, it will be. Yes. Like mum says, it's not that I haven't been doing well, it's just I haven't really progressed much or I think I'm doing so well because I try different foods but then I just I'm not eating enough of them and you need so much food in recovery and I can't see myself so I don't really know what I look like but I know I'm still underweight but I just think because I'm not as ill as I was that I'm a lot better when really I still have a long way to go and I'm just fed up of wasting my life. I can't waste another second. Like in the car yesterday, I was thinking, gosh, I used to lie to mom and dad and say that I'm eating. I'll get dinner when I'm out, or I've already had dinner. And they obviously knew that I was lying. After all that time of being in hospital and inpatient, and then I just, it must break their hearts. It must have broken their hearts and it must still break their hearts that I'm still not better. But anyway, I'm going to do it. This is it. This is the first day in proper recovery. And I'm just going to eat lots and not worry about calories or at least try not to because I often think oh I can't have that for breakfast because what am I having for lunch or what if I want this for lunch or what if I want two snacks in the afternoon so I can't have a big breakfast and you just shouldn't live like that mum has what she wants for breakfast and then she gets a pastry out or a chocolate and a milkshake and a, a panini and she doesn't even care if we're going out for dinner or if we're having a dessert so I should just eat what I want there's no minimum, you can do what you want. So yes, this is going to be the best day ever, the start of the rest of my life. The start of proper recovery. Real recovery.
Let's do this. The first day in proper recovery, Mum. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I said that I've done well, but I haven't done as well as I wanted. I and I, I, I'm recovering, but I'm not properly doing it. And I'm getting fed up of myself. And so is Mum. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I didn't wash up because I can not open it. You can I? Oh. I need to just carry on being excited to eat lots of food and not be scared. Yeah. Because now I'm excited. No, I just haven't been eating enough. And when you don't eat enough, it, it's easier to just carry on not eating enough. You know? Yeah. Or when you don't try new foods, you just it's easier to just stick to the same stuff. Yeah. Whereas when you try new foods, you want to try more new foods or eat more. Mum went to her walk, and she got giant crumpets. Yay! <laughs> and yummy Kenko, Kenko yummy caramel coffee. Oh, that's my cup, isn't it? Deliciously fluffy. That's what I'm gonna be like. Yeah. This is the medicine. What you're pouring it for me? Yeah, how much would you like? You've just poured my cereal for the uh, uh, for the first time in. In what? Okay, yeah. proper recovery. No, Mum's just done me a bowl of cereal, and then I'm going to have a Nutella bagel after. You... Mm. Oh my God! Wow, Mum's really helping me with proper recovery. <laughs> yeah. Mum's having Cheerios, Cheerios, and I'm having Cheerios as well. Yeah. Good. The other one. Not the naked one. No, no. There's a naked bagel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't give that oh, she actually had a panini today. <laughs> First day in proper recovery, and I'm having a Nutella bagel, sesame seed bagel. Nutella seedy bagel, cool. which is mum's favourite. And that. Cheerios, because mum had Cheerios for breakfast, and she said, What cereal am I having? And I was like, I don't know, Cheerios. And then she just poured me a bottle, and I was like, What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> because I always usually pull my cereal. So yeah, I'm gonna have the bagel and then the Cheerios. Yay. <laughs> Do you think I should have the top first or the top, bottom? Top. The top's best, isn't it? Yeah. Top, top. Okay, I'll have the top first. That's mum's favourite. I just think that it's too much for breakfast, but it isn't, is it? No. That's what I do for breakfast. Mmm. It's lovely, isn't it? Divine. Mm. It really is. Divine. Nutella on a sesame seed bagel. You can't get any better, can you? No. Seedy bagel and Nutella. That's like your favourite combo as well. Yeah, I love it. Mm. So nice. Mm. I'm gonna eat my bagel. my bagel. I'm gonna go and get the milk for the cereal. Because all the small ones are in the dishwasher but I'm gonna try and start using big spoons. I do like small ones. Cheerios just like mum. Yay, I finished my Cheerios. My first proper breakfast in recovery. That was actually really nice. And you know what, I'm not even full up. Yeah. I think I'm really hungry, but I just don't know. 11, 11, make a wish. 11, 11? Yeah, you always make a wish on 11, 11. 11 minutes past 11. Oh, it looks cute. Can you feel the sea breeze? Yes. <laughs> Going to the antique centre. So windy. Ooh. Hi, Mum. In the antiques, please. Anything good? 
Looking for Grandad's medal. Your Grandad. But my great grandma sold it. Smells old, doesn't it, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> Mom's got her new toy. Send it to Grandad so we've got something ready for lunch. Okay, hey, Mum. Mum said, What do I fancy for lunch? I didn't really know. And then I said, What do you fancy? And Grandma and Mum said, Why don't we just get pasty? So we're getting pasty. Pasties are a fair thing. Pasties! Yay! Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Mum said I should have this one because look at that. It's got the cool thingy. Yeah. Just a spontaneous pasty. Gravy on mine. Yeah. Pasties for lunch. Are you excited, Mum? Mm, they smell divine. <laughs> pasties. I, I know I've had one before, Grandma. But Mm. Pasties are a fair no, food. Mm. It's great because usually I try and plan ahead, but it doesn't matter. Mm. Wow, it's absolutely divine. Isn't it just amazing? Mm -hmm. I think they've just cooked them as well. Oh, the flavours are brilliant. Mmm. 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 Mm. Look at that inside shot. <laughs> These pasties are so good. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. That yum, was yum, yum. absolutely divine. divine. <laughs> and now I'm going to open my chocolates that I got for my birthday. I just haven't opened them yet because they're expensive and I thought, I don't know. I just always put stuff up. I always save everything still. I don't know why. Shall I open them? Yum. Did you wrap them up? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. What? Oh yeah, it's just normal. Gosh, Mum. I didn't know you could wrap like this. <laughs> wow. Milk of the stars. Milk. El Blanco. The white. And, and sea, sea flakes. flakes. Sea flakes. Oh, it sounds like a flake. <laughs> a flake of salt. Willie's cacao. Is that how you say it? <laughs> oh, it's intense. And soft caramel notes. Milk chocolate with sea salt and sublime creamy white chocolate. We are trying my chocolates and grandma's here as well. Which one do you think you'll like more? Milk with soft caramel notes, mm. white or? I don't know, probably the milk. Mum likes the colour of the sea, the sea flakes sea salt. Oh, I love that colour. Chocolate tasting time. Yay. That's the milk chocolate soft caramel notes. That one's milk chocolate with sea salt. And this one is the white El Blanco. The El Blanco's got green bits in. What is it? Green I bit? don't know. The milk. Is it oh, that one? Yeah. Try it. <laughs> try it, try it. <laughs> Weird flavour, isn't it? Quite strong. Yeah, it's strong. Mm. It sort of tastes like dark chocolate, really. Mm. It does taste like dark. It mm. says it's milk of the stars. Mm. It's 54% minimum. Intensely beautiful milk chocolate with deep caramel notes. Mm. Where are the caramel notes? I can't mm. taste any caramel. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, salty. Just got a piece of salt. I've got salt. It tastes salty. Mm. As you put it in the ma in mm. your mouth. Instantly. Mm. Oh, instantly, instantly salty. As well. Got mm. different texture than the other one as well. Hmm. Kind of makes you dribble when you have salt and chocolate. Mm. 
You know that sea salt green and black one we had? Mm hmm That was nice and that's kind of like this. Mm. Mm. I like the salty one. This is good, isn't it? I like this. Yeah. <laughs> Chocolate tasting. Here's the white one. It's weird trying different chocolates. It kind of tastes like Milky Bar, but not as sweet. Yeah. Real same texture. Mm. Mm -hmm. Got the Milky Bar texture, mm. but not really sugary. Not too it's sweet. It's not too sickly. No. I quite a lot like of it. the time, white it's chocolate's sweet. really sweet. Mm -hmm. Which one's your favourite, the white or the sea salt? Mm -hmm. I don't know really, I like the sea salt. I, I like the sea salt as mm. well. I think my least favourite's the plain one. Mm -hmm. When you eat normal after eating the sea salt and the white, it has like a kind of smoky flavour. Mm. Maybe that's the deep caramel note. Mickey, after having the other mm. two, when you get it tasting, it's got it like a smoky tasting. background. You know the crisp mm. in the box at the cinema. Mm. That's what. That's the kind of background, don't you think? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I've just got it. The normal one has like a background flavour of the bacon crisp cracks from the cinema. Mm. Don't you think? I like the chunks of salt. Mm. Really nice. Very, very nice. That was fun. I like salt that white one. And the white are the best. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite chocolate brand, Mum? Still Cadbury. And Ritter Sport. Ritter Sport. I want to try Ritter Sport. We should do some taste tests like this. Ritter Sport. Ritter Sport. Yeah. yeah. They sell it at Lidl. Lidl. Yeah. So I need to try some Ritter Sport. Mum says. Yes. Cadbury's is amazing and Lint's amazing. What's that? A winner. The new Goo ones and the new Hagen Dars brownie coffee. Yeah. What would you fancy more? I don't know really. I want to buy them and have them both. Mm. Jeez. Obviously, loads of people have bought them. Yeah, that's why there's barely any left. We Let's don't know whether to get the new Hagen Dars or the Buenos. Let's try these one tomorrow and one tonight, can't we? Yeah. yeah. Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> oh well. YOLO. You don't go either. Oh. Did a speed shop, but <gasps> the self-service till was not very good. <laughs> but we got the new Kinder Bueno ice cream and the new Hagen Dars one. Yes. Which one do you think will be nicer, Mum? I'm not sure. I don't know. But we'll find out. We'll try one tonight. Yeah. Dad built these, didn't he? These he did, yeah. yeah. And that's our old house? Yep, there's our old house. Fish and curly fries. Whoa, look at the curly one. Yeah, baby. Fish and curly fries. Look, we, we don't have any veg because we have no peas. Oops, so well. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. Why does my foot feel so bad? Oh, it's my face. Oh, look, look, she's been licking. What are you doing on the sofa? That's my hair. Yeah. My foot feels really wet. Is that weird? No. That's the carpet. Maybe you just no. What are they doing, baby girl? What are they doing? What are they doing? Good girl. Alicia's parties tomorrow. Party prep. Trying the yummy caramel coffee. I think it'll be nice. Kind yeah. of smells like a Werther's thing. It reminds me of my um, Costa that I have. Oh, it smells weird. What is that? Yeah. It smells like popcorn when I burnt it. Try it. Ugh. It needs sugar. I don't even know if you can really taste the caramel. Oh yeah, you can. It kind of smells like 
some kind of body lotion or something. That's what Alicia said. Did she? Mm. Oh my god. When you get the steam, you think of body lotion. Oh, I don't like it. Mm. I prefer normal coffee. Yeah. Have you tried it? Yeah. We tried it. Yeah? Gosh, don't ask me that. Upstairs in your pyjama thing? Don't know. Looks so good. What's your favorite really good? Really cool. Dad, it actually does. It looks really cool. Oh, he's trying to wake mum up. Look. And then I'm gonna put my food down there. What do you think? It absolutely stinks. Have you not tried it yet? No. Leech is trying it. It's too hot. Oh. It literally stinks. Like, yeah, it smells, it's, it tastes weird. I have not smelled anything like that. Turn around and show us your new jammy top. Do not mean twerk. And it matches her jam bon bombs really well. So we are going to have a Breno ice cream tomorrow. I'm so tired, I can't do it. Oh, it's no I can have it for afternoon snack and then we can have yeah. a half and half in the evening. Yeah. Should we do that? Yeah. First full day of recovery. <laughs> yeah. And we haven't it's done well. had the ice cream though, which I really wanted. I was so tired, I just have to go to bed. I'm so tired. We'll have the ice cream tomorrow. Mum believes in me. Definitely. I can do it. Definitely. Mum knows yeah. I can. For a snack, I'm going to have a giant crumpet. Mum bought these for me this morning and I've only had four crumpets. Crumpets have recently been introduced to me again and they are really nice. I tried Biscoff on a crumpet and it was absolutely amazing. Try Biscoff and Nutella. So good. And I'm going to have my first ever giant crumpet with Biscoff on. Look how big it is. It's massive. <laughs> oh my gosh, it barely fits. Little pools of biscoff. My first ever giant crumpet. I'm so excited. It's so big. Real recovery. Doing it differently and doing it properly. And I'm having my first ever giant crumpet for a snack. And all of the biscoff are just oh oozing out. Ready? Mm, mm, mm. Wow, that's amazing. Wow. The crumpets like little pockets of joy. That texture though, like little pockets of heaven. That was divine. That was literally amazing. Giant crumpets are amazing. And mum said earlier that I should try the angel delight. Snack part two, star bar and an angel delight. Star bar I used to have all the time, but I haven't had one since like last summer. Angel delight, I used to eat this all the time for dessert when I was growing up. It's like a childhood classic, but I literally haven't had this since I was about 14. Snack time. I've forgotten what Angel Delight tastes like. Wow. Angel Delight's amazing. I haven't had a Starbucks in so long. 